Hey everyone, uh, hope you're having a great day, and uh, I am having a great day because I just got the newest limited edition uh, soap and aftershave from Kelly Hogan, aka The Beaver Would Write, and uh, I'm actually going to do an unboxing of this because um, I want you to see uh, what a great guy he is and how he packs his stuff. So um, I have my uh, priority two-day package here, which I was impressed that he ships priority two-day. That's nice, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just cut through here. And I'm also going to be doing a test leather for you. Look at that. 796 stump. That's me. I'll tell you. Isn't that nice? Nice, sturdy box. And filler material. Here is the shaving soap right there. Okay. And oh look, a sample of black beard aftershave. And then the aftershave comes wrapped like so. so. Nice frosted glass bottle. So um, here's the deal. I'm going to open this up. I have never smelled this before. This is the uh, limited edition East Coast West Wet Shavers Swash Buckler scent. Um, this is a new scent that he developed specifically for the East Coast. So I am going to give it a sniff. First time ever, just opened it up. Oh, that's really nice. Um, really nice. Crack this bad boy open here. This says, a lovely blend of fur, grasses, leather, and green notes for a manly scent that you'll love. Yep, you can definitely, um, you can definitely smell the, sort of the, uh, the fur the greens. It's interesting. This is um, <clears throat> it's a different it's a different sort of scent between the two. Very complimentary. Um, you've got sort of an earthy tone here and it's not a musky tone but it's definitely a more uh, more of a floral uh, tone to the aftershave. Um, really, really good smelling stuff. And when you pair them together, uh, really nice. Very nice. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to uh, pause this here and I'm going to whip up a test lather with uh, this soap so that you guys can see, but I'm not going to make you wait there while I actually do it. So hang on tight and I'll okay, be right back. So I am back and I have uh, with me the shaving soap that I whipped up and I literally um, I used like just a smidge, it wasn't even the size of my pinky fingernail, just a smidge, probably probably about half that because I didn't want to waste it. And you can see, um, you can see the amount of lather that was whipped up and uh, it's, it's what I would consider personally, I would consider it a, a heavier lather. Um, I could actually lather it a little bit more because there are a few air bubbles still in it, but it's it's a heavier lather and um, really, really great cushion, um, really great feel. And uh, you can see uh, how much of this shaving cream, I mean, this is enough to actually shave with, and it was half the size of my pinky nail. Um, but you can see um, just a really, really good, good, um, good uh, lather, rich, really really creamy um, really um, I mean you can actually feel the cushion in there it's just tremendous he's he's one of my favorite artisans um, I've really grown to love his products and I think that they are top-notch and um, the smell is great and um, smell is great feel is great and I'm gonna go shave with this so hope that you enjoyed the review and by the way as you as you as you mix this up, you can really, as you whip it, you can really smell the um, the tree overtones. I mean, it's like walking through a forest, just really uh, aromatic, and it's a really fresh scent, like being in an, in a 
in, in the woods in an evergreen forest. Really, really good, um, good clean scent, and I really like it. So I'm looking forward to actually shaving with it, and uh, I hope that you will order some and uh, that you'll give it a try and uh, that you like it. So please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to uh, subscribe. You can click the link to subscribe. Hope that you guys have a great day and shave on.